It is too late, as Russia is taking advantage of the lack of Ukrainian fortification. It's day 735 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Starting from Krasnogorivka. In my previous reports, we saw how Russian forces after intensely fabbing the city, started their operation. We quickly got the unconfirmed reports that Russian forces were fighting for the first street. Today also we are not able to confirm the advance. However several Russian sources say that their forces are fighting for the second street, as the first one is already under their control. As there is a lot of fog of war at the moment, we will have to wait for confirmation. Details should be clear in the coming days. In my opinion, this axis of attack is best for Russian forces. In my previous report I told you that Ukraine's fortification is similar to Abyevka. However, most of the lines are located in the eastern part. Basically attack from this axis has now allowed Russian forces to bypass the most fortified lines. Since the start they have only attacked along this road, which is considered a narrow attack. After which they started attacking these fields to widen the attack. Today it was reported that they were able to capture this whole area and as a result widen the front. This will now operationally improve their positions. But to put pressure on the city, they will have to also advance from northern side. And it seems like at Nevelsky they are trying to do exactly that. Since the fall of Avdivka, Russian forces have increased pressure on this village. Currently they were seen targeting and destroying mortar and defensive positions. So in the coming days an assault on the village is expected. Now moving a little northwards to Avdiivka. Russian forces continue their operation, as they want to take this defense belt. Currently Ukrainian forces are at a massive disadvantage. As Ukraine was very confident in the success of their counter-offensive, they did not build any massive fortifications. Currently Ukrainian forces are holding this line with their manpower. They have minimal defensive positions to protect them from artillery and FAB bombs. As expected Russian forces are taking advantage of the situation, they are methodically targeting buildings on this entire line. Last time I said that elite Ukrainian units that withdrew from Lastokhani are now stationed in Toninki and Orlivka. So the size of Ukrainian units holding these two villages have increased, which slowed Russian forces advance from Siverny. So they started attacking from Lastokhani to put pressure from two sides. In a few hours they took this tree line under their control. From here it became easier to pressure the village. In the meantime, Russian forces decided to widen the area near Siverny. Today it was reported that they were able to take this area under their control. In addition they also captured this area to the north of the village. There are unconfirmed reports that Ukrainian units have withdrawn from the village. In addition at Orlivka, Russian forces after advancing along this two road were able to enter the first houses of the village and took this area under their control. Currently intense fighting is taking place. Now moving to Berdichi. Last time we saw how Russian forces finally captured Stepova, after which they started attacking Berdichi. Today it was reported that they were able to capture this tree line and took this area under their control. It is said that Ukrainian forces have withdrawn to the eastern outskirts. Currently Ukrainian units are doing everything to stop Russian forces. In fact they have even sent an Abram tank to attack. Up until now they were mostly being used at a safe distance. However, that did not work out as expected. Russian forces were able to destroy the first ever Abram tank. In recent days, many prominent Ukrainian sources have expressed their strong opinion about the lack of the defensive lines. Given the urgent requirements, Ukraine has started building fortifications. However, some sources say, it is too late as Russian forces are targeting Ukrainian engineering units. Subscribe for more frontline updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.